Hey Wampers, today we have an exciting new update to animation within Womp. So far the animation menu has been sort of hidden and was rather complicated to use. With this update we have now integrated the animation options within the Womp interface and I will show you exactly how it works as well as the options you have, so let's dive straight into it. We can find the animation options in the environment panel at the right side of the screen. We simply activate the button and straight away we can see our classic turntable. This is super simple to use. We just click the animate button to stop or start the animation and use duration to change the speed of how fast the camera rotates around your object. Additional tips here, you can simply change the angle or distance by moving around in your scene and then starting the animation again. If your object isn't the perfect center of the rotation, clicking the center button on the top right helps with that. Next up we have the fly animation, which is a pretty cool way to show off your model flying in with a spin on which you have a lot of control over, just like changing the speed, amount of turns or distance. Important to note here is that the end of the flying point will be how you have placed your camera in navigation. Feel free to play around with this one and show us how awesome you can present your models. Lastly, we have the path animation, which is essentially you adding keyframes to a camera position within the scene and then the camera will fly in a straight line from point to point that you set up. So by clicking on the plus icon next to your path control point, we can set our first point, then we simply move around in the scene to where we would like to have our next point, click plus again to set the second point, and then let it play to see how it looks. You can of course add more points or remove them again with the trash can icon. You can also change the duration as well as the smoothness which allows for a slow fade start and finish between the points. Another cool little thing you can do is link the last and first point as well as loop your animation. Also, here comes a cool little trick to something that a lot of you have wished for, a permanent saved camera position. You simply add only one point to your scene and whenever you wish to go back to that camera position, you simply click on the animate button. Very neat. Once you're happy with the animation you've created, you can simply click on export Choose your preferred quality settings and let it render out for you. We hope that this was helpful and can't wait to see how you guys show off your creations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.